Meet Ari, who has a great head of hair. He wears glasses to give people a glare. And Alan loves to make weird sounds coming from his real big mouth. What a crazy pair. But they're twins. Fraternal twins all the way. One pair of matching bookends. Different as night and day. Where Ari is neat and organized. Responsible and smart. Our Alan loves to mess around. A pizza makes him lose control. What a wild duet. Still they're twins. Fraternal twins. And you'll find. They laugh alike. They walk alike. At times they even talk alike. You can lose your mind. When twins. Are two of a kind. I just want you to know that I hate you, and so does my dad. What? That doesn't make any sense. We have the same dad. But I hate you too, and this house stinks. The only reason you're here is because my mom decided she wanted to have twins. Hey, don't say that. Shut up! You'll wake up my dad and get me grounded. Just shut up. I just want you out of this room. You're so unfair. <laughs> Today we had a social justice um, event where students uh, used their projects that they researched to inform other students on campus about the various issues. So we did our poster on human trafficking in San Diego. We basically talked about the reasons why San Diego is so impacted by human trafficking. I think it was really successful. Uh, this is the first year that we've had a social justice class. And so far, the students have brought a lot of energy and enthusiasm to exploring their passions on various social justice issues. This was a great opportunity just to kind of see issues that are affecting not only the world as a whole, but things that our students at CCA are interested in. Our group is called the Bargain Harvest, and we're focusing on how the lower you go on a socioeconomic ladder, the more likely people are to be unhealthy, obese, you know, have multiple problems like that. Having a twin brother could be really fun sometimes. As horrible as it is to have a twin, I try to make the best out of it. So this one time, Ari decided it would be funny to prank me. So I pulled a prank on Alan last week. It wasn't even that funny. I decided to replace all his favorite cereal with dog food. Ari thought it would be oh so hilarious to replace all my cereal with dog food. And not even the good type. The best part is, he didn't even notice he was eating dog food until the third time he ate it. It wasn't even that bad. He was crying for two hours. Okay, so that day I had a cold and my eyes were kind of watery, so it looked like I was crying. He was bawling. Joke's on him. I like dog food now. Now, I'm going to take him to the San Diego Humane Society. So, in the Conservatory for the Humanities right now, there are two pretty big products that everyone's working on called MIT Inspire and NUMEM. And I'm a part of NUMEM. And that stands for the Northern Uganda Medical Mission, which is a clinic in Pader, Uganda, which provides affordable health care to the citizens there. So we had our first fundraiser last Friday um, at the Comedy Sports Match, and that was a huge success. We sold out, which is very exciting. We've also been creating pamphlets and posters to hopefully prevent um, more people from being sick in Pader, Uganda. So MIT Inspire is an essay writing competition that we entered into where we found a topic that we wanted to write about within the humanities and we wrote an essay, it was about 20 pages on the subject that we researched and so we, we found out about it and we created a solution or an idea that we were proposing through that essay which we then presented online to um, people who are running the MIT Inspire program and then uh, we recently just heard back that we got into the final round of the program and have been invited to um, Boston to compete in the final round of that.
from Arts. This is Arts, the Avida edition. Evita is about the rise to power of Eva Perón, the First Lady of Argentina. It's also about the abuse of power, it's about idolizing people in power. I do the tech for the show. I'm building the set with uh, Yarden and Jeremy. We make the chairs, we built the platforms. It's just like a whole combination of things, really. I play Eva Perón, and she was the First Lady of Argentina, although like many um, thought she was just in it for the money. I really do believe that she was in it for the people. With absolutely no bias, I think the show's gonna be amazing. And you should come see it. It opens tonight and runs through March 14th. Also, Envision Theater has paired with Voices for Children in order to give foster children a chance to see shows at our school. Twice a year, since the beginning of time, the fight for an hour has persisted. I am the hour. <laughs> Ah, victory is mine. I will get my revenge on March 8th. It's a me, Mario. And I'm a Luigi. Mamma mia, what is that? Oh, it's a power up. Let's go. Mamma mia, what has happened? No. Oh, Luigi, you have to stop being such a reckless jumper. Well, at least I'm not a reckless driver. Driving. Safely. Hey, everyone. I heard you're learning how to drive safe at CCA. Well, here are three scenarios that'll help you drive safer around the school parking lot. As you can see, these two fellas are trying to get to school on time. The thing these fellas don't understand is that they're just wasting everyone's time. It's really not that hard. Look at you go! Now, moving on to parking. Parking doesn't just affect the people right next to you, it affects everyone in the entire row. In order to park efficiently, just swing wide and turn right into the spot. Good job! Our third and final scenario is about a parent who does not know where to drop their student off in the mornings. Make sure to let your parent know to drop you off in the staff lot or the administration lot to reduce congestion in the student lot. Thank you for watching and drive safe out there. Alan, we have to end the show. Turn off the Xbox. Alan, the show. Alan! Ari, why can't you just let a handsome man like me have fun? Alan, all I'm asking you to do is to end the show with me. Stay brotherly, CCA. You couldn't have waited for me to say that, Alan? No.